Aloha, and welcome to Hawaii Goes Fishing. Now there's a lot we don't know about the places that we fish. Cultural traditions form the basis of what we already understand, and good fishery science tells us what we don't yet know. We visit a family at Kaena Point whose fishing traditions there have spanned more than a century. Kim Harding lets us tag along to see what she's doing to understand more about Hawaii's bonefish. And a third generation bottom fisherman gives back to the community by gathering important data for fisheries management. Kevin Sakuda shows how to rebuild a spear gun band. Hazel Ho shares her salmon specialty and Mark Kimura hopes the facts about through hull fitting sinks in. So get those tags ready. Hawaii Goes Fishing is coming up right now. For years, the family of Fred Mullins, along with their friends, have spent a lot of time at Kaena Point. <laughs> for them, fishing is much more than a pastime. It's been a way of life for generations. <laughs> Fred Mullins, the patriarch and organizer of these trips, says this tradition began well before the 20th century. <laughs> Technically, I was born down here. I mean, born in Waiwa Hospital, but from the time I was seven months old, learned how to swim behind me in the pond. And, and now I'm, I'm 59. So it's 59 years I've been the same spot. You know? But my mom, they came when they were young, always came from Makua, come this side. That's how, we, the traditional wise, we stayed here. I mean, when you look at this place, it's, it's a beautiful place. Uh, beautiful beaches, I mean, you get fish all over the place. For us as kids, we had to walk down to what was a place we call the Big Bay, and then, because over there was perfect for swim, I would tell our mom, then, oh, how come we don't camp over there? More stuff for us to do. And when you get leakings, open up. <laughs> you come here, <laughs> or stay home. <laughs> And there's rock solid evidence that the family's been at Kaena Point for generations. In the early 70s, we used to dive and dive all the way around the corner. One day we were coming back, and then uh, one of our uncles saw on top of the rock our grandfather's name, initials, uh, J. Helenihi, in 1905, I think it was. So then that's, that was uh, my uncle's, so well, that's grandpa, because grandpa was on the railroad. Uh, he was the conductor of the railroad at that time also. But a generation to generation, I think it goes back in Makua close to the 17, early 1700s. We, when we came camping when we were young, it was all summer. Before your father and my father was born, you know, fishing was part of life. That was what everybody looked forward to on the weekends. All the hardworking fathers and mothers that used to work Wait, but you know, your parents, you know, came time for go fishing. It was like a vacation or a trip going to Disneyland. You know, that's, that's what it was. And they came out here and boy, the crack, the smile was right there. And nothing can go wrong. Didn't matter whether they caught fish or not. You know, there was some place they just wanted to be. And that's how I look at things like that. And you know, from the olden days to now, that that feeling should never go away. Before the sun goes down, Fred gives one of his daughters a casting lesson. Your basic grip, yeah, how you're gonna hold a pole, these fingers. So this way you can grab the line with this finger here. Okay. Okay. Then you this hand you grab the bail. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you hold it just in the groove of that finger, you know, like this, and then you can actually throw it where you want it to go. You can aim and hit them, because wherever your finger goes, that's where the thing going. Nine o'clock. From lessons to the real thing, Nicole puts her skills to the test. You 
like slack the line, walk and sit down. So let the line like this. Walk back, let the line go. Let the line go, man. Okay, walk backwards. Are you sure I'm not stuck on a rock? Oh, well, you're stuck, you're stuck, but right now you must have seen something going to bite. You turn the pole to your left so you know. What no. What? It was a huge tug and I got it. And You had a bite. I think so. Yeah, he took me bait. I've been rocked! As Nicole deals with a bait thief, Sean sets up for Minpachi. Uh, it's just 10 pound test. Uh, with uh, there's a pecan cook and a Japanese glow worm. Yeah, hopefully, we can add to the collection. Coming up next on Hawaii Goes Fishing, the kids do a little ghost hunting.